You want my legs? Where's my belly? Come here. Where's my belly? <laughs> Where's my belly? Hi, sweetheart. Hi, everybody. Okay, so I've been here for like three hours. <clears throat> Just hanging out with little sweetheart. Cannot get enough of this. Four pound. Four pounds baby girl that we rescued from the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter who was to be killed. Last call locked in the back of the shelter. Little tiny, tiny baby nugget. Like I said, four pounds, not one tooth in her mouth. The biggest, sweetest personality. Obsessed in love with this baby girl. Come here. Come here. Come here, sweetie. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where's my belly? Come here, sit. Where's where's the belly? Can I have this? Give me this. Can I have the belly? Come here, lay down. Sit. Come here, show everybody your belly. There you go. There you go. There you go, monkey. That's a little belly. It's four pounds of belly. This is just four pounds. So I've been with her now for three hours, a little bit more, um, just sitting with her and loving her and taking her downstairs to get some fresh air. She loves to sit outside. It's not too sunny out, so it's not too hot. And come here. Come here. She's doing really, really great um, with the medicated baths, much less, you know, itchy and, and biting a little bit, but not, not terrible. So this was all bright, bright, bright red, and now it's healing. Um, she's on Apoquil for scratching and itching, which is definitely helping. This tongue is ridiculous. She's a very picky eater. As you can see, we have a buffet going. We have dry food soaked in water. We have two different kinds of wet food. Uh, she picks, grazes, drinks water. No signs of kennel cough, no coughing, no sneezing. So I know the tongue. The tongue on this face, I just can't take it. I can't eat you up. I'll go to eat you up. Yes. Eat you up. You wanna come sit on my legs? Here, come here. No, you wanna go. <laughs> if I go to leave her, she gets really pissed off and she does all these squeaking noises. Watch, I'll show you. Bye, sweetheart. Sweetheart. Bye bye. Bye bye, sweetheart. Watch this. Bye. Bye bye. Um, I'll see you later, okay? I see you later. What? I'll be back. Is it okay if I go? What? I'll be right back. She hates being alone. I'll be right back, okay? As you can see, we have double gates because little Miss Thing can climb the first baby gate and she was over the fence, over the gate. I'm over here. Hi. Uh, you cannot climb this one. No. I know. See? That's all she wants is a person. So won't stress her out. <laughs> it's what you're looking at is uh, it's a joint uh, adjacent room next to each other, one door. So this is her room and this door leads to the bathroom and then leads out to living room of the upstairs of the hospital. <clears throat> She's the absolute cutest thing in the world. We have great, great, great news. I did a video the other day over the weekend where our awesome love Gail to pieces. She's our volunteer and foster mama. And Gail uh, works from home, and she absolutely is obsessed in love with little Sweetheart. So Gail will be taking Sweetheart home to adopt 
not foster. She's going to be adopting Sweetheart on Saturday. So Sweetheart has a new family, a wonderful new mama, Gail, and uh, two siblings. So she's going to be spoiled rotten. To think that this baby girl was going to be killed uh, at the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter just blows my mind. I don't understand. She's so full of life and just the best personality, so loving and so sweet. She needs a groom, so we're going to get that in place for sure. Um, she is not spayed. She was exempt from the spay list because of her age or whatnot. Um, they said she had a murmur, but it's a, a low murmur, so it's nothing to be concerned about. She does have a little pocket, a hole in her uh, fistula in her mouth, so we're going to let her skin heal, and then we'll sew that little little hole up in her mouth so she doesn't get any infections and things like that. Um, while I have everybody's attention, as you may know or remember, for you that follow us, um, we did not only pull Sweetheart, we pulled Honey. Honey is the adorable, adorable little Shih Tzu um, that was sharing. She was roommates with Sweetheart, and uh, I was with her all weekend, really, since we pulled her on Friday. Saturday, Sunday, everything was great. Uh, yesterday, which was Monday, um, now I'm not talking about Sweetheart, who's in front of me. I'm talking about Honey. Honey, yesterday, I was with her all day. She was great. She was eating. She was playing with her toys. I took her outside, um, Honey, who was not in this video, and just to do her peepees. And when I picked her up, she was very hot. Her belly was extremely hot. So we took her temperature and she had 104.9. Um, we did sub-Q fluids. We did x-rays. We did blood work. Um, we, she's been on antibiotics since she got here, Clavamox. Blood work's normal. X-rays normal. <clears throat> um, and they were closing last night. So I was not comfortable leaving her here alone for all those hours. Stop biting. Stop. Um, and I took Honey to Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist's uh, last night, and I was there for a couple of hours, so uh, I left her there about 10 o'clock, um, and they set up a treatment plan. They called me this morning, and she still has 103 temperature. We don't know what's going on with her. She's acting normal, totally comfortable, not in any distress. Everything's coming back normal, so we're trying to figure out what's going on with Honey. Um, she's such a special, sweet little girl. I love Honey. She's got the greatest demeanor plays with herself with toys, and this one is just ridiculous. This one just wants love and to be touched, and her little, 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 little tiny, tiny belly rubbed. Just, just little, little, little belly. I mean, I could take my, like, right, this is my hand, and I can put it around her entire body. That's how small she is, sweetheart. So everybody, please, I know, poor honey. I know I've been sick. We're all sick worried. Um, but she's in the best hand. She's in 24-hour care, so... Um, you know, there's, she has a private doctor and nurse around the clock. There, she's not alone here, that we have to worry about her after hours. So everybody, please, please, please pray for Honey. Um, it is not cheap to bring a dog to the 24-hour animal hospital, I can tell you that. Um, so we're going to be looking at a, a hefty bill for her care, and that's what we are prepared to do. We have to be prepared when we pull these dogs from death row, my kill shelter, whatever shelter it may be, uh, we never know what we're walking into. So again, you know, honey appeared, sweetheart's fine, no coughing, no sneezing. Um, she's doing great. She's just a little brat. No, she's not a brat. She's sweet as can be. But I am worried about honey. Um, so I'm asking everybody to please, please donate something for honey's care. Um, she will be there. She was there last night, and she will be there again tonight. So we're already on two nights of sub -Q fluids, more testing um, to try to figure out what's going on with Honey. Um, and it's, like I said, it is not cheap. We know just walking into that hospital, it's always at least $1,000. <sighs> um, so it is what it is. It's a big fever, very high. Um, like I said, it was 104.9 on Honey. Not, not this little nugget in front of me. This is Sweetheart. Honey, who is not in this video, 104.9, and it stayed over 100, 104 all night last night, um, and this morning it was still at 104, so I'm very concerned, so please donate for Honey, and again, Sweetheart will be going home with her new mommy on Saturday, Gail. Gail, you are so lucky to be getting this little baby girl, I can't even begin to tell you 
how precious and loving and and so sweet that she is. She's off the chart, ridiculous. All four pounds of her. So that's our honey and our. Uh, this is our sweetheart right in front of me, and honey is at the hospital, uh, twenty-four hour care. So please donate when I shut this down. I will add the um, PayPal link if you could donate something. Please donate for their ongoing care. Like I said, this little nugget in front of me is going to need some surgery to close up her fistula. Um, you know, I don't know what else is going on, but as of right now, that's it for her. Um, and as I stated, honey was great, and then all of a sudden, bam, you know, 104.9 temp, and we did the right thing. We didn't leave her here and take any chances. We ran blood work. We did x-rays. We did sub-Q fluids twice. She's on Clavamox, and um, they added Batro uh, also to her um, medications, so... Very, very, very busy. Um, we're doing a lot of home checks for puppies and trying to get puppies adopted before they become adult dogs. They're getting so big in front of our eyes. This dog, Tiffany. Are you dying to come in here? Dying to take home. I know. <laughs> Everybody wants sweetheart. Go see your friend Tiffany who pulled yes, you. Sweetheart. That's the one that pulled you out of the shelter for us and carried you on her lap all the way home. Nope. Um, I see somebody asked for stones. No, they didn't see anything in the x-rays. They x-rayed her entire body, um, and they didn't see anything on honey. So, But Sweetheart has been getting little trims of all her matted mess by me when she rolls over. I take the scissors and I clip, 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 clip. You're so itchy. Stop. Stop. And Tiffany's taking care of Albert and Van and Mummy Godiva. Who? Oh. What, like loving on you? <laughs> Albert and Van I really off. and Godiva and Gage is here. Sunny and Cher went to Camp Canine today for playgroup. They'll be coming back uh, probably about five. And yes, I just placed a hold on another dog um, that is, they sent a, um, an email to be killed. And it is a senior dog, a lot like Honey. Um, it's four pounds she's four pounds um so we're pulling her tomorrow morning so we're going to be asking for your help again to save yet another life um you know and and we just keep going and going and going so please donate towards honey when i shut this down uh susan her spay i don't know i mean the incision looks perfect the x-rays came back perfect the blood work came back perfect um i don't know I think they're at themselves are just like, I don't know. Um, if it's a UTI, then we already have started her, like I said, on Clavamox and Batril. She's been on that. Uh, that would be correcting that <clears throat> automatically, the strong antibiotics. Um, we know she had to start honey. I'm talking about not sweetheart in front of me. Um, honey, we know she had to start a, uh, a year, uh, kennel cough. So, you know, we started her on antibiotics. It was just a, a slight sneeze. Um, uh, Mary Jean, who's Ruby? <laughs> I don't know who Ruby is. Now you're throwing out names to me that I don't know who who's Ruby. I don't. We don't have a Ruby. Monkey. Okay. You want your shirt back on if you're gonna keep biting? Huh? You can't be. You can't be biting. So everybody, please, please pray for Honey and please send a donation. Um, no amount. Um, is too small, honestly. We have people that signed up for monthly donations for $1. How sweet is that? And trust me when I tell you, every single dollar helps. Um, every penny helps. So please consider donating, becoming a monthly donor. You can do that on our website, 100plusabandonedogs.org. When you click to donate, you can do a monthly, um, whether it's a dollar, $2, $5, and it just comes in regularly. So it's not even like giving up less than a coffee. Coffees are 3 and $4 um, a day to save a life, to help us keep going and saving more and more. So this is Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida, with my update on Sweetheart in front of me, who is adopted and going home Saturday. Honey, who is in 24-hour care with a very high temperature. And... Um, a new life that we're going to be saving tomorrow that is very, very similar to 
this little nugget in front of me. Um, the life that we're pulling tomorrow from the kill shelter was an urgent plea from the shelter because we're partnered and it's a little senior poodle that weighs four pounds and I believe has cataract. I don't know if it's blind. I don't know if it can be corrected, but we're not going to let her die in the shelter alone. So um, thank you, uh, Tammy, for saying so. And uh, we've got a $25 challenge from Michelle Crawford. Um, thank you so much, Michelle. She's putting up a challenge saying, is anybody else willing to match her for $25 to help us with our vet bills that are going to be accumulating for Honey, who is in the 24-hour animal hospital at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist. Um, I love you, and I'm so happy that we saved you. Yes, because you mattered. Because your life is just as important as the young puppies out there. Yes, it is. Because you're going to be spoiled. And you're going to have the best life ever. Yes. I have Colleen um, over here. Colleen Freilich. Uh, she's going to match you. Michelle, $25. Thank you both so very much. It's a start. Um, like I said, walking into the 24-hour animal hospital is very costly. Um, I know it's just walking in is like $1,000. So we have $50 towards our starting of our high vet bill. Um, and we're asking all of you to please, you know, for anybody that's commenting, you know, just please donate something, even if it's $5. It helps. Um, I myself, I notice a lot of people have been asking me, this is Amy, um, a lot of people have been asking me, they were aware that one of my, one of my personal 100 plus dogs has been sick and we have been running him to hospital after hospital after hospital trying to figure out what's wrong and finally we did an MRI on him and it came back that he had a ruptured disc. So our, my personal 100 plus rescue, um, had to have uh, back surgery and, uh, has been in the hospital now in recovery for a few days. And I want to tell all of you something that is very, very important. I'm always one to preach, you know, get insurance, get insurance on your dogs. If you don't have money in the bank, get insurance. And I signed him up for insurance just less than a month ago. And unfortunately, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to cover, but the back surgery to save my, my rescue, our rescue dog, Carol and I, Brody, um, for his surgery was nine thousand dollars. I don't have nine thousand dollars. So we had to take out a, a line of care credit and um, we've already given them seven thousand and we'll be paying that off for God knows how long. Um, so you know please I we were talking about it Carol and I saying how many people walk in with a, a sick animal and need to do a surgery um, you know uh, to save their life and don't have credit and don't have money and they have to euthanize their beloved family member. Um, it's, it's very sad, sad and, and, and please, everybody, please consider getting some sort of insurance, whether it's nationwide, um, you know, Trupanion, whatever, check it out. I don't know who's better than who, but it's so important. Even if it's a high deductible of $1,000, you can manage 1000 You certainly can manage 1000 versus 9000 So, um, yeah, so please everybody be smart because it's killing us and we just can't wait to get our baby boy home tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to be tied up with him when he comes home. So I'm going to be kind of out of sight for a while uh, taking care of him, um, our personal dog. You know, we, we save, I would say, we save so many lives, other dogs in the shelters and off the street and, you know, kill ourselves for seven years and almost at 4,000 abandoned, suffering um, neglected animal cruelty cases or kill shelters wherever they come from and we put all these thousands and thousands of dollars into all these animals that we don't even know but as soon as we touch them we know them and their life is just as important as the next um, but when it comes to your own pet you know please make sure that you're doing the right thing um, that's why you know maybe taking in more than you can handle uh, is not a smart thing so I respect people that say I'm sorry you know I have two dogs I can't handle um, any more responsibly afford. Um, yeah, so Natalie, uh, my personal dog, Brody, just like I said, had back surgery for, um, you know, a ruptured disc, and it's 
thousand dollars nine yes so it's it's pretty steep um, we'll figure it out but uh, it's just everybody be prepared <clears throat> thank you for your prayers Gail and I'm gonna sign off oh sweetheart here's a voice I don't know who's here who's here come here I don't think they're here for you I don't think so come over to see me but that's my update and I'm asking all of you please when I sign sign off um, and shut this video down please consider donating um, to help with honey and her medical we don't know what's going on and keep your prayers coming Prayers are wonderful. We love prayers, but they're not going to pay the bills. So please donate something. Thank you in advance. This is Amy, 100 plus, Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida.